Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2, Belfry Luna Edition. Last time, we dealt with the Ruined Sentinels and found our way to Belfry Luna. Where I forgot it's a bit of a pain to get that door open. There's a whole group of them. And it is not wise to just run, well... I would not recommend it. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, there's a treasure chest too. Now I want that. Oh, one of them's got a bow. Multiple of them has bows. Ha ha! You shot me through a wall. No, there's one behind me. The direction of that arrow says there's one behind me. Aha! Aha! Oh, I ran out of stamina. That arrow just... <laughs> that arrow guard broke me because I was out of stamina. There we go. That deals with that. It usually is a lot harder. This rapier is nice. I did not check if that was a mimic. That would have exploded beautifully. Let's pull it again just for another hurrah. And that would be Belfry Luna. Basically, people invade you, you're trying to make it up to the top to ring the bell. Because that opens that door. Ah! Did you fall down here? You're fast. That is a rapid little bow you've got. Uh, I wasted so much stuff. All for just a little bit of souls. And. But I'm in the covenant! You know what? Peace. Peace. See ya. Watch, he'll come into the boss room. I had a lot. Yeah, I had a lot to say about this boss fight. First is, yeah. Remember the Belfry Gargoyles? This time there's six of them. And that's why I wanted to summon my little friendly helper person because I'm gonna die. They all share one health pool, the, I meant the, the main health bar for the boss. Imagine four kings, but with gargoyles, basically. Oh, I'm near a ledge. I don't want to be near a ledge. Okay, one down. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, you were not invited to this party. Backstabbed me. I mean, not literally, but he got behind me. And the targeting system. I had the one targeted that jumped behind me, so I spun my shield around and got hit. That's gonna hurt. Sorry I'm being quiet again. I'm trying to keep an eye on multiple Targets! Well, not targets, multiple things that want my... want me dead. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna take the loss. I don't... I really am running out of care at that point. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this is one of my least favorite boss fights, so I'm not gonna be as excitable for it. I generally do not like boss fights that are designed around the concept of swarming. It is one of the things that Dark Souls 2... I forgot you were over there, buddy. Uh, Dark Souls 2, one of its weaker points is the fact that it does rely on a larger number of swarm type de uh, enemies slash bosses. Swarming enemies can be, you know, fine depending on how they're done. Uh, there's one area in particular later that I will point out that I think is a beautiful example of swarming enemies done right. Uh, but a large group of bosses can be tedium. It's also that I'm just... I, I did make a number of bad calls in that fight on positioning and the like. But I am confused. Uh, being in the Covenant is supposed to make me immune to being invaded. Unless my standing up there ringing the bell uh, was a bad idea. And I already said I would do it in the last episode, so I'm going to summon Goomba. Come on, Glencar. I need your distraction. You shall be a glorious distraction. Make Solaire proud. Come on. There's no more enemy. Do not summon him and run up here like I mentioned before. Uh, he, the, your summon will get distracted by enemies. Kind of the problem that Solaire had in the first game once in a while with Ornstein, Ornstein, Ornstein and I call him Ornstein, and Smo. Uh, would be that he could get caught up fighting all the enemies and not actually make it into the boss room. Oh, wow, buddy, you do damage. So do I when I... There we go, one down. And I made a stupid. Aha, there's your buddy. Watch the shadows. Oh, I didn't know you did a 180 when you jumped. That's quite a, uh, quite an attack you have there. Oh, great, number three is here. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, he's almost got that one dealt with. Or he can just change targets. Okay, now we've got that one dealt with. Oh. I hit, I hit the key one too many times and didn't have enough time to roll out. My stamina was getting too low for comfort. Oh, I don't know what that attack is. Okay. Okay, now we're down to two. And I'm gonna top off. Oh, good. 
Okay, now we're down to one gargoyle. I'd have to really mess up at this point. Like doing that. Did he just ask us? You go, buddy. You go, buddy. He asked us. Good job, Glencar. Watch me get invaded again. <laughs> there are certain bosses that I will summon for, uh... I'm gonna be honest, that's one of them. Uh, there are some NPC quest type things you can do by making summons for certain bosses. If you summon Lucetil three times, or for three boss fights. If you summon Guy with the Blue Sword, I mentioned, uh... But otherwise, I'm not going to generally be summoning to try to make things easier. It's... I'm going to run up here real quick because I remember there's a bonfire. Oh, goodness, and him! We will get to him in a moment. First, let's look at our new ring. Allows attunement of additional spells. This modest-looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one need only recall the cruel fates of the resident. Okay. So this guy down here is basically a reference to the Capra Demon. All the players in Dark Souls 1 that complained about the Capra Demon. I have 40,000. Yeah, I'm no. Gonna go use my souls, then come back. I've made that mistake before. And then I spent a lot of time carefully getting those souls back. There and this is a let's play I don't have for time for careful. Level up! Yeah, I'm, hit, I'm gonna hit the soft cap there. 30 health, no, then it's 20 health. I'll take the... I want it to be a round number. I'm losing, you know, a little bit of efficiency there. I should start pumping up my dexterity. So that's got my health, my stamina, and my adaptability at their soft caps. It's as high. Oh, yeah, I should. I've almost used up all my life gems. I need to be more careful with my life gem usage. Thanks. Uh, I need to be a bit more careful with the usage. the upper ramparts. I just don't want to waste them. Uh, you know, 300 souls here and there adds up eventually if you get too wasteful. Be wary of dark spirit, therefore try hitting them in one swoop. That, that is a very well written message. And that is why I need to upgrade the spear. Move this way. Dog, 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 dog. Dog, dog. Dog. My spear is not very strong, but yeah, we'll try. Can you at least let me off the ladder before you jump me? I'm messing around with it at this point. But yeah, there's Mr. Cappy. He's not gonna climb the ladder for me. He will just stand there. Yep. <laughs> now he's gonna punish me if I ever come back down that ladder. Oh, I thought for a second he was gonna climb it. But yeah, they, they positioned it so you... I mean, there's one dog I might... Nope. Yep, they they did a good they did good at what they did. But what they did was not good. Mm 
But yeah, th this is this room itself is just a reference to the Capra Demon. The staircase, the little arch, the umpteen dogs. And the fact they made an in invader, I'm not quite sure. That may just be a thing. Uh, uh, prepare for the montage of death. Took out all but two dogs. And got stomped. Quite hilariously. Ha-ha! I got one item. <laughs> Down to two dogs and Goomba the Great. One dog. I need to get him and the dog separated. to separate him and the dog. I'm just being a little overly cautious now. Okay. I'm grab the item while I'm down here. Dragon Tooth petrified something in a bright road. Don't make me have a spear fight with you. Let me spear fight you, buddy. Rawr! Aha! 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 <laughs> he actually took a little fall damage from that. I figure I did too.
Yeah, roll away. Roll away! You die. You die! You die! It's for all the poor innocent souls that you have trapped in your Capra trap of Capriness. Not Cappy trap. What was I doing here again? Oh, yes, I need to go back to the, uh... Servants' quarters. This was a side area. It's actually optional. You, you, you know, the Ferris Lockstone and whatnot. You saw me do it last time. Don't act like you don't know how I got here. I'm gonna blow him up just because. Boom! Oh, his kind will have their revenge on me later. There. Uh, why is there a message? I wanted to read the message. Be wary of door! Oh no! Oh no! I oh yeah, that's actually a thing. I thought it was a joke message about being afraid of the door, but yeah. There's a soul behind it. There are so many bloodstains over here. Ah! Okay, you, sir, you, you won't get out of my way, so. You know, I'm gonna do this the fun way. Aww. The Bastille key. And off the cliff they went. Oh, I remember this area. And that swordsman running around on the roof. I didn't I thought I was in a different area. Flame butterfly. Flame butterfly is an item that basically lets you just light your torch anywhere, but it's, you know, one time use consumable, etc. You break the jar, release the butterfly, and it creates a burst of flame. Oh dear. I know this area. I know the hello. Oh, that's right. They oh, I thought... Yeah, I could have swore these were the exploding ones. That was a corroder. I think. Maybe not. I don't know anymore. Yes. Friend ahead. He is such friend. Hello, friend. How did you die? Ah. You exploded. I just remembered one of the reasons not to pull this. Hello, friends! Okay, hello, exploder mummies. Oh, downside! Don't swing after he started leaping forward because your sword will go over his head and you won't have time to get out of his way. Okay. There's actually two side pa well, two paths I could take here. That would lead back down to there, which would probably get me killed, but in a gloriously hilarious way. Checking to make sure of enemies before I go. Don't jump in the well. I've done it before. It doesn't end. Well, dog. They blend in with the ground. Had to poke it a third time to make sure it was good and proper dead. Even though it's an undead dog. Oh, hello there, sir. Hey! 
target him, you... There we go. Hey! Where are you all coming from? Be wary of up. What is up? Whoa, what are you? I don't even know what that thing is. And I'm not kidding, I don't know what that is. That's not something I recognize. Stop making me break my sword. Well, I mean, I know this area was here, but I don't remember here to what effect. Okay, yeah, that's that shortcut. That I remember. That would drop me back out near the starting area. The start of this area. You wonder why when I enter a room, I do that little spin. I'm scanning the room for enemies. You are not a mimic. One day I'm gonna be wrong, I just know it. Little bone staff. What the? What the? Oh, I know what it is. That's what, that's the door the Ferris Lockstone opens. I see. Ah, I get that. I'm gonna open this door. And then run up this ladder. That's where the guy came from. He climbed up here, walked across, and then jumped down to get to me. I need more ferrous lock stones. Yeah, I don't mess with the rock yet. That's not something you want to trigger early. Antiquated key. Oh, this is the soldier's quarters. I see you. Uh, you missed. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. You, you missed. Badly. Oh, hello. Ah! There's two of you. I would have fallen for that almost. That is not an illusory wall, that is a person. Illusory person ahead. Be careful. You wanna be... What are you? There's a clipping issue here. Get on that ladder for the love of all that is holy. I made a horrible decision jumping in there. Okay, there didn't used to be crossbow. P oh, these are exploding barrels and those are flaming crossbows. I just know it. There used to be a hide knight right there. This is the start of the area, the quote-unquote proper start of the area. Unless I went backwards and just came to the end of the area. I don't know anymore. Yeah, the exile holding cells. Okay, then now we're back to... Back to here. I actually may have... Yeah, I think I did it out of order. Oh. Uh. 
there's really not much point in me doing this, but I will show it to you anyway. Oh, I don't. Soul of a proud knight. Soul of a prude knight. Prude is in proud, not. Yeah, don't know me. That could mean something else. <laughs> There's a reason I'm doing this. Jump, 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 jump! There. I think it's this way. It's probably not. There's a cave on one side. Oh, there we go. Scimitar and repair powder. Enemies that haven't noticed me. I'm just that good at hiding. Are they friendly? Huh. Well, they're just completely drunk. Okay. You two can stay. This is the other side of a certain area that I can't... Wait, the boat is here? Can I actually do the thing from this side? Nope, the gangplank's not down. For those that don't know, gangplank is the board that you use to, uh, you know, get to and from the ship. It's just, I mean, it's not just the name of a pirate. With a fascination of barrels and oranges. Normally you would be coming from that direction, you'd see the cave, you'd go up and then have to come back down. Uh, figured I would do it out of order. And then you would enter this area from this side and then begin on your journey through. Which is why uh, there, that door by Macduff was locked. Guy with flaming arrows. Guy with no more flaming arrows. Okay, you guys are new. I mean, I like it. This is an improvement. See you using strat. You know, you know what? I'm just gonna take the hit. I want to get rid of him. Ah, worth it. I just don't want to deal with him shooting me. Okay, dog. Hello, dog. Why did I just come in here into the room with the exploding mummy? That was lucky. Okay. Dog. Oh, more dog. More dog. More dog. And a pursuer. I want to know why the Pursuer is even here. Pursuer was only in the boss room in the other game. I mean, I think if you avoided him, he would keep popping up in different areas until you finally killed him. But... Pursuer plus dogs equal target the dog in front of you. Yeah, this whole area is different. There's usually a uh, one of the giant guys with the stick machete up there. What was that? Swing it halfway? Boop, 
Boop. I'm not dealing with the pursuer and all that. Ah! Dog is new. Clever, clever dog. That would also be how you'd see there's a bonfire back there. It's a hint. A hint? You said. Estus flask shard and titanite shard. Large titanite shard. I'm using the uh, spear to poke these things down because I don't want to wear out my uh, rapier's durability. An alluring skull. And the pursuer will naturally respawn if I go to the bonfire and come back. But first... Now we can get to McDuff's bonfire. That's that door that I couldn't open way back when. Well, Spear does respectable damage. Okay, now on the, to the Pasua. The Pasua, I say! He's gonna keep piling. I've created Cerberus. Now bring it back to life. Find me a lightning spear. They're just gonna shoot at me, aren't they? How do I get their attention without triggering Pursuer? I think the answer is you don't. Oh. Okay, I've also never really explained what Curse does. It basically... You know, uh, in Dark Souls 1, it was a Petrify, but they separated Curse and Petrify in Dark Souls 2. In Dark Souls 2, it just causes your health to go down by one stage as if you had died. It also, you know, hollows you. Oh, he caught me with the shield. That's not good. Back, 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 back. I really should have attacked him, but... Aha! Aha! Without your friends, you are no match for me, sir. You are no match for me, I say! Haha! I poke you! What can you do about this? Nothing! Nothing at all! You cannot stop me! You cannot even hit me! Almost. Maybe next time. Bye bye I found Twinkle Knight. Which is what I call Twinkling Tight Knight. Okay, now we can go back this way. Actually. Oh, yes, there's stuff over here I didn't finish with. Such as him. There we go. Yeah, that was horrible on my part. But once you get the dogs out of here... 
And you know what? I'm going to deal with these two also. You, sir, are going to die. I know you probably didn't get up this morning expecting that, but you will. I had my shield up, and I took damage. I want to know why. Perhaps stabbing you will give me answers. It only gave me a fruit. It did not give me answers. But yes, this rock. Ah! No, 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 no. Not a good time, sir. Not a good time, sir. a lot less of them than I thought I remembered. I could have swore it was like eight of them. And the pyromancer armor from the first game. And I don't think there's a direct way to get back up there, so I will uh, do a loop. And we are back. Hello, sir. These are just the damaging ones. Uh, I remember the... There is a, another type of them, though, that glow, I believe, orange. In any case, when they explode, they corrode everything you're wearing. They have a corrosion effect. They are very not liked by people! These just hurt, and then get back up again. They're experiments. I did not intentionally have life gem selected, but I may as well use it. And there, why I said be careful when you see them in in those uh, containers, because if another one opens the container, then you'll suddenly have another one to deal with. So I just go ahead and recommend poking them while you got the chance. I always forget how to get into... Oh, now I remember. Yeah, there's a... One of those cages that lowers down, kind of like Sin's Fortress. There is an illusory wall to be had back here, though. Which leads to this very brightly glowing item. And I could have swore that... Aha! Thought I remembered there being another one. Oh dear, I remember this. Again? Okay, buddy. He actually finally hit me with that. My stamina still hadn't re regenerated from that. Trying to keep track of just where I'm at on this area because I don't want to uh, inadvertently roll myself away. I love that he becomes an enemy, like an enemy you get to have repeated encounters with. It makes his name of the Pursuer so much more fitting that he's actually pursuing me. And that I'm only dis like chasing him off for a little bit. I am glad that it's in set encounters and not just on a random timer like uh, from SCP, Old Grandad, just appearing every so many minutes. Hello, sir. You're that guy that I shot a minute ago. Good job. You get stabbed now. Ooh, bracing knuckle ring. That is a good item. And that is a shortcut. 
Revenge. Yes. Uh, the bracing knuckle ring makes item durability degrade slower. It is a very good ring, to be honest, especially if you're using katanas or other low durability weapons. <sighs> okay, let's reacquaint myself with how to jump. Read the manual, how to jump. Hurrah for bravery. 15 minutes worth of torch and a flame butterfly. This is a very small area for me to try to jump back, though. So, in the interest of the 30,000 souls I'm carrying... I need to go back to Majula and upgrade my Estus also. It's like, while I'm go... I need to go level up and upgrade the... May as well deal with both at once. The Ring of Giants. I think that one gives you more poise. Is that a shard you found? Yes. Here, let me see it. So that I may help you to see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. Great. That took longer than expected. Time to start pumping up that dexterity. I should go check on Cat Lady. I have not checked on her in a while. Here, kitty. <gasps> Are you scratching the wall? Are you being a precious kitty? I'm not serious. You do have a rather pleasant scent. The type I'm quite fond of. <laughs> it's a joke about cats and dead bodies, apparently. Anyway, buy an item. Any new stuff? Nope. I do need the Ring of Whispers. Nothing not yet. suited you either. Well, that's dismaying. I don't need it yet, but I will need it. There shall come a time when it's usefulness. It's basically the uh, the old witch's ring. <laughs> and I shall get us back to where we were. Okay, back to what we were doing. I always wonder just what's up with these. I'm guessing they're explosive barrels. Oh! I guess that's what you do with them. Be very careful here. I see you! Oh, hello. Hello. James! Who are you? At least they give you plenty of time to top off. I think this is a... Uh, NPC. Or it might be a person. I don't know at this point. The fact that his name is James. that's a person or not. <laughs> I think it's a person. Nope. 
That's got to be an NPC. They were running. I don't know. They they done a good. They did a. better job at making sure you can't... It's harder to tell, unless you have like a list of the NPC invaders. That's gonna be embarrassing if it turns out that was a person and I'm over here. Are you a person? If he respawns as soon as I go in there, we will have our answer. It appears that was a person. Neat. Uh, I don't like that item. Not the Skeptic Spice, that one that, uh, up there that I would have had to jump for. Not a mimic. It's been a long time since we found a trapped chest, too. Uh, another one of you, whatever you are. I don't know what those are. Oh, wait, I know where this is. Oh! It's that same... There was a room, an alley. There was a uh, treasure chest in there, apparently, that I walked past. Yes, but that's the one downstairs that's behind bars. One moment, there is another one in here. Here in... I don't like this because it usually ends in many deaths. Okay, this one didn't. Bonfire Acetic. And the only way to get back from this spot is either to try to jump to the bottom or Homeward Bone, so. Zwei Honda. Random fun fact. Using a homeward bone does respawn enemies, but it does not cause you to rest at the bonfire. Uh, that's... The reason for that is assumed to be a slight mercy to people doing a no bonfire run, uh, giving them the ability to use a homeward bone. But, since they can't use a bonfire, that means a homeward bone will always send them back to Majula. I think. Or things betwixt. I don't know if it's... I don't know which one. Don't be fooled. These ones will rush you. Hello, Strayed. He's, he is secret framped. We will find out about that later. The Bastille Key. I, I do need to unpetrify him. I just really don't want to spend the 14,000 souls to do it. This puts me on the other side of that gate that I haven't opened yet. Which would be brilliant. And yes, that's sarcasm. Uh, Petrified Dragon Bone is same as Dark Souls 1. It's basically Titanite for dragon weapons. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier. One of the changes made in Dark Souls 2 over Dark Souls 1 is the fact that you can be invaded while hollow. Uh, so yeah, you notice I get invaded. Not necessarily when I've used a uh, human effigy. Hello, ambush. And you die. Don't worry, not a boss. Sinners rise. 
Bonfire! This is one of the most horribly placed bonfires in the game. Oh, they fixed it! <gasps> they fixed it! Go away, you. I'm monologuing. Uh, in base Dark Souls 2, there are three crossbow guys standing there, and while you're busy at the bonfire, they will start shooting you. I mean, I, I kind of I like the idea of all the crossbow guys. That's just not fun when you're trying to use the bonfire. Uh, they're one enemy I usually will intentionally despawn just to get them out of my hair. Okay, not usually. I've played the game twice and I did it once. But... Guy with crossbow! Oh, hello guy with sword! You're more dangerous than guy with crossbow! Do your positioning. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. I fell off last time, so I'm telling myself not to fall off. What? No! Oh, don't die doing that. I have died that way before. Back stepping off a ledge by accident. Oh, this is not something I'm looking forward to. Down we go. Hello, item. I see you. Oh, one quick note. This is on a ledge I've got to jump to. Never jump to it while the elevator is going up. Because the odds of you making that jump and not falling in the hole are very low. Lacerating knives are basically throwing knives with the bleed effect. Wasn't trying to send that back up, but okay. Oh, what, what, whoa, 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 no. Scholar has struck again. That is a flexile sentry. What is... why is it down here? This is one of those times when the rusted iron ring from Dark Souls 1 would be very useful. Kinda like Pursuer, this is a boss also. Uh, I don't... it switches between it, two attack styles. And I don't remember its attack styles at the moment. Certainly not confidently en enough. Trying to back up the stairs a little bit. Uh. Okay, now you're just... Okay, okay get out of the door. Hey, we're we gonna play poke battle in the door? You wanna play door poke? Door poke! This is how we poke the door, poke the door, poke the door. Poke, 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 poke. Yeah, Flexal Sentry is a boss, though. Well, another boss-like pursuer, like I mentioned. Blossom Kite. What the? I thought the Blossom Kite shield was found in an area we haven't been to yet that I'm not going to mention. Stamina recovery. I'm very tempted. Grass Crest Shield, basically. But no, this area is normally full of, uh... 
Let's just say big crocodile critters that want to eat my face. Also, that thing said phantom ahead, so be... I'm being a little... Did... What was that all about? Be careful. Deal with any of those you see. Don't give up, skeleton. Don't give up. Try boulder. Yeah, that would be one way to block a door. Since I have the Bastille key, I can use these upper doors. Ah. Uh, but I shall explore it. There's never a bad time to explore. Except in the middle of our, of like the apocalypse or something, I suppose. I expect there to be an item in one of these. Oh, good. Hi, Knight. You're my friend, right? Oh, yeah, he's my friend. You're free, then. I have opened your prison. You may now free. What is it? Do you people have a fascination with backsides? Yeah, very clever making, putting you in an area that you can't move at full speed with those things. I'm switching to the spear so I can poke them at a little longer range. Ferris Lockstone. Now we can go open that door. I'm gonna open this door first. This leads to a boss. There is something I should do first, though. This is a very good location for, like, early cooperative play, also. You need the Bastille key for this. You're gonna get to see a flame butterfly. Set light. Uh, that has an impact on the boss fight, of which I will explain when I get in there. One thing, it actually lets you use your uh, target. The brightness of a given room affects the range you can keep tar an enemy targeted. This is not something I learned to do until a late... Ah! Look, look, I was on fire. I'm gonna put that there just for the fun of it. Uh, but yes, lighting that will make the make some stuff in the boss room nicer. And trying to get through all of here with a lit torch is a pain. The alternative is you can clear out an area, then go back to the bonfire and use it to light the torch without resting at the bonfire, so then the enemies stay cleared out. Always check to make sure that's there. But I'm going to jump either to if my summon sign gets used, or getting to that. Oh, there it is. Uh, getting to that Pharaoh's Lockstone. Ooh, Royal Greatsword. Getting lots of alluring skulls. That thing's gonna be back down here. Be wary of creature. Fire! There we 
go. This was the room with the Pharos contraption in it. We must use the lockstone. Feed the face. Open door. Well, that would be horrible if there was just a mimic. Soul vessel, yay! I spent it so I could respec my stats once. Each soul vessel gives you one respec. Don't waste them. I mean, you will find a decent handful of them. It's just not advised to waste them. Uh oh, we're being summoned. Oh no, I didn't actually think that would work. Here we go, everybody! So you're gonna get to see a glimpse of the boss before we get to the boss. Summoned to the world of dragon. Smile, dra ooh, Lucetiel's here, good. That reminds me I need to have her in this fight. Smile, dragon, you're on YouTube. Smile, you're on candid camera. Now I have that uh, jingle stuck in my head. Hello! This is the Lost Center. Imprisoned for trying to reignite the flame. Has a lot of sweeping and stabbing attacks that you want to be wary of. I'm actually doing pretty well for not having fodder in a while. Uh, having the, basically lighting those oily things lights up the room so that you can target her and affects uh, the boss's movement speed and attack speed. There we go. And look, you get uh, you get a portion of the boss souls for doing co-op. And you get a token of fidelity, which basically says, oh, you helped a player, which is what you would use to level up in the Blue Sentinel's Covenant, which we can't get to right now. Uh, because there's a dragon guarding it. I need to see if I can upgrade my rapier first. Also, I forgot to mention, I did uh, upgrade the spear a little bit. No, I didn't. Or did I? Did I? Yes, I did. Spear plus two. <laughs> I don't know anymore, man. Ah. Okay. I just need to check your wear, sir. I don't have enough Titanites. I don't have enough large Titanites. Level up! I'm tempted to bump that strength up to 12 so I could use the uh, stamina shield. I might. Yeah, we'll do that. I never said that I couldn't use a kite shield. That shield was normally hidden in... Oh, 75... I misread that. It has really good uh, defenses against everything else, though. I want my souls back, lady. There will come a day in the future when I use a uh, soul vessel, so I'm not wasting it on three points. There we go. 30 de dexterity. That's quite an upward move from where we were. Thanks. There we go. I'm going to resist the temptation to do much co-op right now. 
there is a thing I need to reach before I do that. Ow, you managed to fire it just as I stabbed. You're gonna make me waste a life, Jim. I'm gonna wait until I get to the boss, though. Oh, also, doing co-op causes you to uh, regain your humanity for free. So, if you run out of uh, Witch of Mahoosets, there's Lucitil. Not gonna summon her yet, though. Gonna tr make sure Flexel isn't back. He is! He is! He is! Oh look, another summon. Good gracious sir, those are some shields you've got. I like that guy. Why is there a leg in my elevator? I did not order a leg for my elevator. There we go, we're summoning Lucitil. For all the plot reasons. The lost center, the last center, well, I think it's last center, is actually not too bad to fight solo. Uh, but I've never actually properly summoned Lucitil. So I figure it's. For the best if I do. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Lucy. Come on. There you are. Let's go. Wait, regenerate. Oh yeah, that's right, the up one is spelled. Don't have any of those. Let's see if you recognize. Let's see if you recognize her. <laughs> Trying to put out the lights is the hint that lighting up the room is beneficial. Ow. Uh, let's see if you remember anyone from Dark Souls 1, though, that caused trouble trying to start a fire and also was kind of buggy in appearance. Because there's only two of us, the boss has less health. Summoning increases the boss's health. There is actually some bosses that summoning makes harder as a result of that. Uh, there's one boss, for instance, that... Uh, if you don't do some stuff outside of the boss room, regenerates health that you can actually make unkillable. Nearly unkillable, I mean. Come on, focus on me. I can actually dodge. Okay, sometimes. I didn't have enough stamina to risk trying to do anything fancy there. But Lucetiel has to survive for it to count. So it's best to get these quest summons out of the way. Great soul embrace. Uh, with easier bosses. Soul of the Lost Sin. Open door. Great soul embraced. Also, they wrote all over the world. But yes, uh, I, there is a connection to a certain other fire starter. New Game Plus puts a little more explanationism there. Never actually gotten to do it. I've just been told that it... Ooh, Fragrant Branch. I can go release certain someone. Primal Bonfire lit. Uh, if you use it, you'll just warp back to the... spot. 
the medulla fire. You have acquired the soul of an old one. I accidentally skipped over that. I forgot that she was going to react to it. Equipment load would be nice. Yeah, now my weapon... Uh, like, my damage is jumping a little bit faster. Go ahead and get dexterity up to 35. There is actually one last thing to do today. To do today, to do today, to do today. We must visit an old friend. Old friend! Speak! Speak to me, friend! Well, first, light the bonfire. Secret Framped. And that's where you get the Agape Ring, which is the ring I mentioned before that causes you to no longer gain souls. It's a way to keep your soul memory at a certain level, but you also lose the ability to gain souls, so. You know, everything at a price, I suppose. He has some very good spells. It does not. I just don't currently have money. Also, because I defeated the boss, I get a 30 minute free no invasion thing in that area. Slumbering Dragon Shield. In any case, this episode has gone on quite long enough. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. I will see you next time.